Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Holder and I am going to give you a quick little lesson on the five string banjo here. Um, playing in the claw hammer style, we're going to learn the basic um, bum ditty strum. This is kind of the, the foundation of the claw hammer style. Um, there's so all you need for this is just a banjo and standard uh, G tuning, and I'm not even going to do anything with my left hand here. Um, it's going to be all the right hand. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of make the shape um, that you need for it, which is kind of like a thumbs up, but your hand, your fist isn't um, as tight. It's kind of like this, what it looks like. And you're going to be doing all down. No, nothing up. Um, so there's three parts to the bum ditty strum. The first part is you get, when you have your hand position, you're going to strike your melody string with your fingernail, either on your first or second finger, um, whichever is most comfortable for you. And it helps to have a little bit of a nail grown out um, to get a good tone on that. So the first thing we're going to do here is just strike one string and starting out I would suggest just to do this third string from the bottom here, the G string. So I'm just hitting that with the back of my nail going down. So that's the first part, that is the bum of the bum ditty. And moving on to the second part is just kind of a brush stroke. So I'm just kind of hitting these kind of bottom three. If I hit this fourth one, that's fine too. Um, and I'm kind of doing that with both my index and my middle. Um, I'm sure everyone does it a little bit different. And then um, the third and final part is your thumb here um, just plucks the open fifth string. So there's three parts to this and we'll take them real slow again. So you got your first part, you just hit your melody note, I'm hitting this third string. And then you brush, just a couple of the strings. And then you do your thumb on the fifth string. So that's the bum, di, T. Bum, di, T. So those are the three parts to that. just getting used to that motion it's an unusual thing to be doing with your right hands if you're coming from guitar or any other instrument like that um, but once you kind of get that going um, it gets a lot easier and then you can start incorporating the left hand over here without having to think about using the right um, one thing when to make sure you're doing when you're practicing this is to get the timing right so you don't want to be just doing all three parts of the bum ditty with equal time allowance for each. That would sound like this. That's one, two, three, one, two, three. We're playing in four, four, so we need to um, time it a little different. So bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty. It's long, short, short, long, short, short. And then in you know terms of actual time, it's one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So when you're saying the words bum, di, ti, bum, di, ti, it, um, it kind of implies the rhythm that you need. So it's long, short, short, long, short, short. And that is the bum ditty strum.